growing up, I always felt like I was in the eye of a huge storm. News headlines said that our planet was warming at a rate that was unprecedented over millennia. They also said that the Arctic ice was melting and this was causing unusual weather patterns all over the world. Government officials gathered around the globe to say, to talk about how serious climate change has become. Yet, we were doing nothing. We drove around in cars and threw away a lot of food waste, turned on the AC with the windows, on, windows open, and most people knew that something awful was happening, but they were just so numb about the whole issue. So one day, it just all wrapped up in my head like a puzzle. This made me ask a huge question to the world. What can we do to stop this? When I was in middle school, I learned that people were already trying to find the answer to this question. The United Nations had created something called the SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals to ensure the health of our planet. This ignited a spark in me because it specified what we really needed to do. The idea of sustainability may seem vague and people often find it hard to agree on defining it. So, for example, let's look at the, defi the definition of sustainable energy. First, it must last a long time. Second, it must do no harm. For example, fossil fuels, when they are burned, they release uh, gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur and mercury, which endangers our health, so we don't say that it's sustainable. Last but not least, it must leave no change. Uh, if the products of a reaction, a chemical reaction could be used as the reactants of a reaction, the chemical cycle would be closed, leaving no change. Fossil ener energy systems, in contrast, usually operate as once-through processes, leaving unnecessary waste along the way, so we don't say it's sustainable. Then, there was the second question I had. I was interested in physics, which is quite far from environmental science as most people think. I wasn't planning to be a government official that makes laws to mitigate climate change or stop global warming. So what could I do? What role could I play in this situation? If any of you guys are thinking the same thing, I would like to tell you, definitely, we can definitely do something. I strongly propose, propose that Achieving sustainability is not just for the policymakers and UN officials. Scientists can play a very important role in this system by studying what we call sustainable science. Sustainable science focuses on the interactions between human, environment, and engineered systems. Physics play a huge role, especially in the clean energy sector. For example, wind power could be a great example. It meets all three of the criteria for sustainability that I previously stated. In my first year at ISA, I created a portable windmill and using 3D modeling software, as you can see in this photo. I also conducted a simulation of the airflow around the blade like this. Basically, this is what physicists in aerodynamics do all the time in fluid mechanics. The lift and drag force that applies while air passes around the airfoil must be taken into account. The aerodynamics of the blade determines its efficiency to generate energy at a high efficiency. Another example of clean energy would be solar power because it's limitless at least for another 5 billion years when the sun all burns out. Solar power systems use lenses or mirrors to focus a large area of sunlight into a small beam and then convert light into energy. So first, they absorb incoming energy in the form of sunlight. The energy then excites the electrons due to what we call the photoelectric effect. And then the electrons begin to flow and this generates an electrical current. The current then flows through the wires with all panels in the string contributing power. 
clean and sustainable energy systems have benefited from the continuous development of the PV cell and progress in efficiency. The efficiency of commercial solar panels for the instant is only 11 to 15 percent. However, PV efficiency has been sharply rising like this graph in recent years. The methods to improve the efficiency of solar panels has been left as a challenge for us future engineers to solve. Improving access to clean energy has many positive social effects additionally in a larger sense. For example, LED systems can address hunger by improving plant yield. Also, solar power desalination stations can help produce drinkable water in many parts of the world where people do not have access to clean and safe water. The examples that I stated are just a small part of how physics can be used in sustainability. The clean energy sector involves many um, many fields of physics such as mechanics, electronical engineering, and meteorology, and more. I believe that physics can act as a tool that can uh, change our world as well as a lens that can interpret it. So if you are interested in physics or interested in being an engineer in the future, like me, then you should definitely think about the impacts of the environment uh, and the impacts of technology on our environment and also feel proud that the key to changing the environment is in our hands. Thank you for listening.